What's going on guys? I've got here a 2006 Nissan Altima and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the important fuses for the headlights and the fog lights. I'm also gonna show you where you can find your high beam relay, the low beam relay, as well as the fog light relay. So to begin, we're gonna inspect some fuses inside the car. So all of the Altimas, regardless of trim, use power from this 10 amp fuse here, as well as this 10 amp fuse right there. Now, if your Altima is equipped with the daytime running lights, it will also need power from the 10 amp fuse in this location, as well as the 10 amp fuse in this location. And there's actually a fuse puller here that you may find useful. Uh, you just pop it over the fuse and then uh, pull it out. So that's that. This is what a good fuse looks like. And I'll go and reinstall it. I'll show you using the fuse puller one more time. You just push it over the fuse, it will pop in, and then you pull it out, and the fuse will actually fall out through the hole on the back side of the puller. So now that we've covered all of the fuses that are inside the car, let's move under the, uh, under the hood. This is where we'll find all of the relays, as well as some additional fuses. So again, for the daytime running lights, if you have daytimes, you'll want to make sure that this part of the fusible link is intact, as power from this goes to the ECM, which is used for the daytime running. Everything else is gonna be behind this cover here. Now to remove this, we've got to get this tab lifted up here. And there may be one on the other side I can't really see it, and either way, my cover just comes straight up once I unhook this tab. Now we've got the fuse box here exposed. This is actually a computer and a fuse box. And to further remove it, more tabs here. I like to push on it outward with my thumbnail or my fingernail, and then lift up. Bang, there we go. So now let's go over the relays. We've got a low beam relay here, the high beam relay is here, and the fog light relay is there. Starting with the fog lights, there's a 15 amp fuse right here that provides constant power to the fog light relay. So this fuse always receives power. And when this fog light relay is energized, it sends power directly to the fog lights. The low beams and the high beams work a little differently. So they have two fuses for the low beam and two fuses for the high beam. And you can check to see if the fuses are receiving power and that will tell you if the relays are engaging. So for the high beam, we've got a 10 amp fuse right here. This is for the driver side high beam. This one is for the passenger side high beam and you can check the exposed metal at the fuse to see if the relay is energizing. If you see power at these fuses, then the relay is working. For the low beam, we've got this 15 amp fuse is for the passenger side low beam, and this 15 amp fuse is for the driver side low beam. Now one other great troubleshooting step you can do is you can swap relays. So all of these relays are the same part number. So if my high beams are not coming on, what I can do is I can pop out my low beam relay and switch it with the high beam relay. If after making the switch, my high beam start to work, but my low beams fail, well then that's giving me a pretty good indication that my original relay is probably no good. And you can do the same with the fog lights there down below. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you or at the very least was a good starting point in troubleshooting the headlights on your Nissan Altima. Please do chime in down below if you've got any questions, and thanks for watching.